Its early origins remain a mystery. Its sound distinctive. The marimba is a very important instrument. You look at a marimba, you think of Africa. Marimba, it actually, it talks to your soul. Welcome to South Africa. Welcome to Inside Africa. one of the youngest all-girl marimba bands in South Africa. Introduced to the instrument fewer than two years ago, their lively repertoire includes local favourites, such as Mbu Bear, the click song, and this Zulu prayer. But it was for their inspired African-style interpretation of classical pieces by Beethoven and Vivaldi that they received a claim on a tour to the United Kingdom last year. Aged 11, Tasmonique and Nir Shamar are the youngest of the group and are students at Goudawerp Primary. Hours drive from Johannesburg, the school caters to kids from nearby settlements. Today the girls, together with their bandmates, are set to embark on a journey of a different kind. six hours southeast from Johannesburg to Schluschlu where they are making their way to a place where folk legend links the ancient origins of the marimba to the heart of Zululand. We've decided to bring the girls down here to Schluschlu where to give them some exposure to a different audience as they're going to be playing in the International Marimba and Steel Pan Festival which is the largest of its kind in the world. With barely enough time to settle in and nightfall fast approaching, the girls are given an impromptu music lesson under the acacia trees. Six, seven, Their teacher, Joan Lisko, runs a number of marimba hubs across the country. The marimba hubs is a concept that we have started in South Africa to take children off the streets. And so what we do is we train teachers from scratch who have never ever played music before and we then get them to teach their pupils. Then from our side we go and monitor those pupils every week and the teachers to make sure they're on track and as they continue so we withdraw slowly but surely until they're completely independent. Djembe drum, where's who's going to play the djembe drum? Get your djembe drum, right. Lithgow attributes the fact that the Goudawerp girls are able to learn such a wide range of music in a relatively short span of time to the teaching mythology that the hubs have adopted. Even with no prior musical exposure, kids quickly develop what she calls a rhythmic vocabulary. Musical phrases are also taught in incremental bite-sized pieces. We start with a very small bit, then we add a little bit more, and then we join those together. Then we add a little bit more, and then we join them together. So that the memory muscle starts actually working properly. And that's how we learn a lot of repertoire. Before the 
day's music sessions commence, the girls are out on an early morning safari. With its gently undulating hills and savanna bushveld, the protected sanctuary of Zulu Inyala is noted for its abundant biodiversity. It has more than 40 different animal species, including cheetah, giraffe, and an increasingly rare population of white rhino. The wildlife we have in our game reserves, which we call Izikui, is very important to us. We try by all means necessary to protect and preserve all the wildlife we have here. We have teams that work 24-7 around the clock to make sure that all is well with all the wildlife in the reserve. Our heritage here is to make sure that all the wildlife and vegetation is protected and preserved so that our future generations can also witness the beauty of the nature we have here. The afternoon, though, has been set aside for a pre-festival rehearsal in the Zulu village. While the true origins of the marimba are unclear, local legend has it that a Zulu goddess named marimba first made the instrument by hanging gourds below wooden bars. Some of the girls are Zulu, but they've never been in the Zulu kingdom. They've never been in, in KZN to see how the Zulu people live. Our children live in an urban environment and in very close proximity to each other and to come out to the open and to meet up with their ancestral spirits um, in a place like this is really incredible. So their eyes have been open to the wonders of the culture in this area. A living monument to Zulu homesteads of the past, the village is made up of a series of thatched beehive huts. The dancing that you've seen us do is called Yukita. We do this for most of our rituals, such as our traditional weddings. We also have Igoma Epsu, which is a dance by the men. We do this to welcome a maiden to her family of in-laws. Igoma brings people together. The women do their dancing and singing, and the men also do their own dancing and singing. The journey here is also providing the Gouda work girls with an opportunity to collaborate with the local musicians. As our girls have grown as musicians themselves, they're now starting to pass on their own knowledge. And so they've spent some time with the local musicians teaching them new pieces. We decided that as we're coming here, we should actually uh, play Zulu songs. Hambanati is a Zulu hymn which means go with us, and we thought it would be a great uh, song to play or a great prayer to play here, to say go with us, almighty, go with us, God, go with us wherever we go, go with us as we go to the festival and bless our playing and bless our journey.